Hey there, today I'm gonna walk you through the ManyChat dashboard. So it is important for us to understand these tools that are available for us here on ManyChat. This video um, is designed for the ultimate beginners. So if you believe that you're already familiar with the ManyChat dashboard, this video is not for you. So if you can see, we're now at the home tab. And I have here two tabs on the top, the goals and strategies and the bot overview. And for the goals and strategies, we have some updates here. And you can also see the step-by-step -step lessons designed for the beginners and other strategies that could help us to better understand this platform. Now, if you go to the bot overview, you will find information like this. Again, you see the updates here. And you can see that this Facebook page is linked to the ManyChat. That's why you can see the bot link here. But for the SMS and the email, I'm not connected. But you can connect this if you like simply clicking these two buttons here. You can also see the active contacts that you have. Um, you can change the date here. By the way, my calendar is uh, not in English version. Uh, because uh, I'm here in China, somehow it translates this into the Chinese uh, um, word here. So you can see this one is for the month of uh, December, you have the month of January. If you want to track on your contacts that you have from the previous month, then you can simply go ahead and change this and apply. So you can see also how many contacts you have in total and other information like the language and the gender if you go down here you will see the flows that you made and other things that's in the automation part so this is the overall look of your many chat account in the home page now you go back to the left side these tabs are very helpful so let's move on to the audience section you can see your individual subscribers here so you can see the status there subscribe and if you want to unsubscribe them you can also do that and you will see it here that it it will appear unsubscribed and the days how long have these people subscribed to your chat uh, bot and if you want to like uh, know more information about your contacts you can click their names here and simply see you know this card this pop-up card for us you want to start talking to them you just simply click this button start chat and you can even add tags here if you want to create a folder that will have the list of um, group for example this is a, a contact that you got from your food campaign if you're running multiple campaigns and you want to like add a tag there you know from food campaign um, or probably um, if this person um, communicated with you you can like uh, add a tag here interested or you can add a tag that not interested okay so sequence he subscribe if you want to unsubscribe him just simply click this uh, blue word here subscribe part so let's uh, move on to the next one you can also see the growth tools now we used this before um, we've done uh, um, ads on Facebook so this is this was important before but now we don't really need this because everything that we can do here in the growth tool you can see that in the automation flow section so we're not gonna do anything for the growth tools let's move on to the live chat basically it's the same thing that you do with the audience so you can directly chat to the contacts that you have and uh, it will it will you know um, get you to that uh, person so that's the chat right next to that is the uh, broadcast section so here um, if you want to broadcast your contacts um, within the 24 hour rule you can do that um, but uh, if they're already past the 24 hour rule then you will have to do the paid messages here 
So you just click on the new broadcast if you want to create um, messages to your contacts or basically let them know, you know, um, I have these updates and go ahead and create the message here. Next one for the automation, this is the part where you're always uh, be doing things. So um, you have here the flows, the keywords, sequences, and then the rules. For the flows, you want to like create some folders that will um, organize information that would be received by our contacts. So keywords, this is something that you want to uh, change as well. For example, um, you wanted to have the person uh, type specific word and you want your bot to respond to that. Like for example, you know how I want to learn, and this is where you have to change it. So you need to just click this one first to make it not publish, unpublish, and then you do the editing in this part. So sequence, um, same thing. Uh, if you want to create, you know, multiple uh, messages that would be sent to your contact, you just need to create this part here. Create new sequence. Click that blue one. And now let's move on to the ads. This is the part where you want to integrate your campaign um, for the Facebook um, ads. So if you're not too familiar with this, you can watch this one. You know, we'll click this part, watch video. Activate ads um, if you want to run your ads, of course. And you go to settings. So this is the part where you can find other important tabs and things that you can do for your um, mini chat and Facebook integration. So you have here the standardized uh, greeting text port. Uh, you can modify this if you want, personalize it, change the name, okay, change the message. And uh, if you go down here, you will see other information like um, the audience visibility that's checked, the keyboard input that's on. You don't really need to change anything here that's uh, already, you know, um, done for you. But in case that you're having troubles connecting with your Facebook page, the refresh for permission um, is very important. Maybe you want to refresh your page once a month or you could do it in case that you are experiencing problem with your many chat connection to your Facebook page so we also see other you know tabs here like the custom field tags again payments this is the part where you can add your PayPal account in case that you wanna you know or stripe account you want to add this integration um, if you have these tools available for you like the active campaign the mail chip you're doing email marketing you want to integrate those um, software to many chat then you can simply follow the instruction by clicking connect here and of course uh, your billing okay, if you want to upgrade to pro uh, this is a free version that I use for my page but if you in case that you want to do other things that's paid in the many chat uh, simply click this button other things here we don't really need it so um, we don't look at these things if you go to templates there are available templates for your business so local business e-commerce real estate if you want to check out the available you know resource for you here they're not all free you can see here this is paid so mindful be mindful about this uh, if you want to use the pro version or just the free one and of course your profile um, you will see here the connected accounts so I have two active uh, uh, Facebook page that's connected to my many chat and we're using the free version of the many chat um, and if you look at these tabs here on the top you have the templates you have the settings and you have the compliance monitoring so if you want to check if you are following you know the policies of Facebook and you've not done any um, things that's gonna affect your many chat um, bad things that's going to you know create problems with your many chat then this is a page where you can check that one so basically everything's okay here good news no violation or whatsoever now let's go back to the home page and uh, um, 
If you have problems with your ManyChat and the connection between Facebook and ManyChat, simply go to help section and you can find other resources here. If you want to watch some tutorials from ManyChat, just go ahead and click this one. Help Center is the one that's very important because you can get answers here directly from those people who had that same problem about ManyChat. So simply click on this one, see all topics. If you're randomly looking at questions, have any specific problems that you want to be answered or troubleshoot, um, simply type you know um, your question here and and then you know search for it all right so basically that's uh, the many chat dashboard i hope that uh it helps you i'll see you in the next video